कोई बोल राम राम कोई खुदा है कोई सेवा को सैया कोई अल्लाह है Sikhism is the fifth largest religion in the world with 13 million followers globally. It's a truly international religion spread across the world. Five countries with the most population of Sikhs are India, the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom and Italy. Today, you wouldn't be truly global if you didn't know the fundamentals of Sikhism that I'm about to share. Sikhism was founded by Guru Nanak Dev Ji who lived in Punjab, Northern India in the 15th century. Being slightly over 500 years old, it is one of the youngest religions in the world. Seeing the situation of the world at that time where mankind was divided on the basis of religion, caste, race and social status, Guru Nanak emerged as a prophet and taught universal love for all beings and love and devotion to God. He traveled more than half of the world, including India, the Middle East, Tibet, and China. Many people from all walks of life accepted his teachings and became his disciples. He made no distinction among human beings and spoke out on behalf of the oppressed and advocated equality of the genders. This is a fundamental belief of the Sikh religion. Manas ki jaat sabbe ekke pechan po. Recognize. the human race as one what do sikhs believe guru nanak's concept of god is unique because god is not defined as a person or as separate from creation god is defined through his qualities and as the basis of all creation and the universe the sikh concept of god is defined through the mool mantra which is These are the qualities which define the Sikh concept of God. Sikhs believe in three fundamental principles: earn an honest living, recite God's name, share your earnings with others. What does the word Sikh mean and who is the current guru? Sikh literally means disciple, one who follows and reflects upon the guru's teachings. Sikhi sikhya gur vicha A Sikh is one who adopts the Guru's teaching. Guru Nanak was the first Guru, and his spirit passed through nine human successors. After the tenth Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the Guruship was given to the present Guru of the Sikhs, the Guru Granth Sahib, the Holy Scripture. For Sikhs, the Guru Granth Sahib is more than just a book; it is a living scripture which communicates with and guides the Sikh in every aspect of life. Sikhs give extra respect to Guru Granth Sahib to signify its status as the living guru. Where and how do Sikhs worship? Sikhs gather to worship at the Gurdwara, which means the gateway of the guru. In the Gurdwara, Sikhs seek to learn the teachings of the guru and practice seva or selfless service. In the Gurdwara, the Guru Granth Sahib is installed on a raised platform and Sikhs pay their respects to its teachings by bowing down and making an offering in the gurdwara six attend services which include recitation of the scriptures through singing kirtan and sharing a community meal langar while eating langar everyone regardless of their status sit at an equal level largely on the floor and are served with equal respect the preparation as well as distribution of the meal is all through volunteers six do not have a priestly class There is no human intermediary between a Sikh and God. It is a direct relationship with God through the guidance of the Guru. The Gurus spoke out against the exploitation of the common man by the priestly class and advised all Sikhs to practice spirituality in their daily lives to have a direct relationship with God. People who perform religious services in gurdwaras are considered sevadars. and don't enjoy any special status as priests why do six look different six have a unique appearance which includes the turban 
which is a symbol of self-respect and self-reliance. The turban was given to the Sikhs by the 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Singh. During that time, there was tremendous oppression and the rulers proclaimed that only the nobility and royalty could wear a turban. The Guru being the champion of the common man stated that all of his followers will wear a turban and live a life of self-respect and dignity. Sikhs also do not cut their hair and the unshorn hair is seen as a physical symbol of submission to God's will. The Gurus also encourage training in martial arts and organize Sikhs to rise against oppression and intolerance. For this reason, baptized Sikhs have the name Singh, which means lion for males, and Kaur, which means princes for females. The Sikh religion founded by Guru Nanak and the nine Gurus after him is a unique religion based on direct revelation from God and service to humanity.